Peace, family, and as always, love, light, and darkness to all my reflections. As always, I appreciate the support. If you haven't already, you make sure you like, you follow, and you subscribe to the channel. And for, my, and for the ones that's already subscribed, y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell. Hit the notification bell so that way y'all to be notified anytime a video drop. All right? Now look, family. You know, you know these apps do not like us talking about certain things though, right? And I can understand that. I do. Do y'all know that it's still frustrating when they still try to censor you? Especially when you put a lot of energy into building things up. Nah. TikTok decided that it wanted to ban my main page. Ain't that something? But guess what? They ain't stopping nothing. It's impossible. You can't stop what I started because I already connected with the people. It's too late, baby. <laughs> Look, now today, we just, we're going to talk about what's going on with the U.S., y'all, and what it really means for us living over here, because it looks like our dollar, we already know the dollar has been, like, plummeting, right? We know the dollar has been losing its value, even though we know that the dollar never had value anyway. But still, it's dropping significantly, and there's a lot of other countries and nations coming together to build their new currency and to get rid of the U.S. dollar altogether. Now... I don't think Americans understand how important this is, how very important this is. We got war happening right now. I mean, it's so many battles and so many wars taking place. And it's really because the U.S. is really losing its power. And look, let's go ahead. Let's get into these stories today, y'all, because I got I to gotta show you all something. Possibly the future of the U.S. First, Russia and China just took major steps yesterday in reordering the world order, creating what many are calling a new world order. And I would argue that that's correct. When you're literally taking the world off of a U.S. reserve currency and you're shifting the entire power dynamic to Russia and China and BRICS nations, that is a new world order. And you're watching it unfold right before our eyes. This is a moment in history we'll be able to tell our children about the decline of U.S. hegemony, the rise of what we're seeing right now. Um, and so, yeah, we had Pu uh, Putin and Xi Jinping, of course, with their big, big meetings over the past few days, saying goodbye um, early this morning as Xi Jinping was flying out. Um, and they accomplished a lot. Um, they signed a multi-part economic and military framework. They're going to use Chinese currency to settle trades instead of the U.S. dollar. Think about that for a minute. They're going to be using the Chinese yuan to settle trades instead of using U.S. currency. Now, not only does that account for a large part of the global population because of the size of China and Russia, but they are also encouraging and President Putin is encouraging other nations to do the same in Africa, in South America, uh, in Latin America, where else? He said, he mentioned three different places. Uh, and so those places that are suffering from Western sanctions are absolutely motivated to try to do that. Because if you are, say, Argentina, and you would like to, you know, continue to finish your nuclear reactors in order to get affordable energy to your people, but you are suffering from Western sanctions, and the West continues to lean on you to sanction Russia, you can say, okay, I don't need to deal with this then. I, right. have, I have options now. Right. And that's the key, right, is the options for them. And regardless of how you feel about it, I mean, this is a major, major story. Y'all got that, family? Basically, what they're telling us is that they're cutting the U.S. out. Like, you know how you have middlemen that be middlemen and everything. That's what the U.S. did. It just bullied this, it's bullied this way into middlemen and everything. Every single thing. So what everybody look like they're doing is, it looks like they're just cutting the middleman out of the equation out of the whole equation all right and then we already know that the BRICS nation b-r-i-c-s the BRICS nation is nothing but a um collaboration of let me see collaboration of brazil russia india china and south africa coming together to creating a new currency man and then they said you got um china and russia trading back and forth with each other and they just got rid of the whole U.S. dollar. So they're not even using the U.S. currency to trade with each other no more and purchase anymore. Now they're using the yuan. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, this is a major, major story that the West is completely downplaying. They're more, much more concerned about Trump being arrested um, than anything else. They don't even want you to know the decline of the U.S. economy right now and the banking crisis. Like all the headlines are about storms in California, which they're big, and Trump being arrested. 
but never mind what's actually going on with this unipolar uh, disaster and the multipolar uh, rise that we're seeing. Hey, yo, he is right about that. It does seem like nobody is really talking about the major collapses we are having within our economy. The banking crisis? You know, we heard about what happened with the big banking collapse that happened this year or recently with Silicon Valley. And that's not the only one. It's been a lot of collapses happening all over the U.S. And it's like they're not letting nobody know. They're not letting the public know how severe it is. Like, we all know that they're getting ready to switch our currency. We're about to get ready to switch to a digital currency. But in order for us to switch to that digital currency, they need certain things. And I feel like what they need is them semiconductors. Uh-huh. The semiconductors. And we all know that Taiwan is the largest producer of semiconductors. They are. Uh-huh. And right now, China and Taiwan is beefing. But we also know that China and the U.S. is working together. What that tell us? Now, uh, Putin and Xi, they're going to build a massive new border infrastructure. So among the 14 agreements, a new border infrastructure, which expands agricultural cooperation. They'll be improving the cooperation of, um, of, uh, of exchanging energy, minerals, metals, chemicals. I mean, what, what else is on there on the list, for crying out loud? Right? Uh, things that they actually mine right. and control. We've done reports here about how the United States does have a lot of these resources, but environmental groups are stopping the mining of those things. And so if you want your nice electronics and smart cars and EVs, you're not going to be able to get them from no. American manufacturing. We, this is all a man-made disaster, by the way. You can see it, right? We could have been leading that charge, but instead we're not. Um, so metals, chemicals, minerals, they, all, they signed these 14 total agreements, including nuclear energy, with a shared cooperation of building faster neutron reactors. Uh, the governments also agreed to create a new joint television station that would share information. Um, and, it, you know, these guys over the past few days, like shaking hands and, and it seemed like they were like best friends, you know, yeah. in these meetings. Um, oil exports to China have exploded. And another area of agreement moving forward is on this massive new pipeline, uh, the Mongolian pipeline uh, from Russia to China. So uh, massive new oil and uh, hydrocarbon pipeline through from Russia to China. Y'all comment below. And let me know what y'all think is going on right now. What y'all think was going on with this economy, economy period. And also, what do y'all think we're headed? Where are we going? Because it looks like the U.S. is falling behind. Far behind. Don't look like they're the big dogs no more. So they also signed a new military partnership. Um, they have a military exchange and cooperation program with mutual trust between their armed forces. They're also going to regularly conduct joint maritime and air patrol military exercises together. Their goal, they say, is a multipolar world order instead of a unipolar U.S.-led world order. That was this meeting. Why is this not like the lead story on every major newspaper or newscast? It's not. Um, and a third of the Ukraine, uh, the third thing that they discussed was the Ukrainian peace proposal. Why is this also not one of the lead stories on the nightly newscasts. Peace in Ukraine? Why not lead your newscasts with that? Let's see if Lester Holt tonight on NBC's Nightly News leads with that story. Probably not. So they put this forth by China. China put this 12-part framework together about peace in Ukraine. Putin praised this 12-part peace plan, saying he's ready for it. But the United States and the West are not ready for peace. Peace? Peace, you say? You mean to tell me that these countries and these nations are talking about peace? And they said that they know that the U.S. and the West is not going to agree with it? They know that we're not going to be on board with it? Hmm. Here is President Putin talking about this. We have subtitles. Watch.
их стороны мы не наблюдаем. В то время, когда мы с председателем обсуждали вопрос возможности реализации китайского плана мирного урегулирования, а председатель КНР уделил большое внимание своим мирным инициативам в ходе нашей вчерашней беседы с глазу на глаз. Сегодня стало известно, что... So we're ready for it. You know who's not ready for it? He says the West and Ukraine. They're not ready for peace. So we'll just keep fighting till the last Ukrainian. That's been the plan, of course, all along. Hey, I don't know, family. To me, it just looks like, or it just seems like all the other countries or all the other nations is trying to come to an agreement, you know? It's like they can't come into agreement with the U.S. because for whatever reasons. So it's like, you know what, we just gonna go ahead and unite and make agreements and plans with each other since the U.S. or certain Western societies will not get on board. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure y'all comment below. I mean, I try not to get fixated on everything that's going on within this world, but yet and still, it's always good to know what's going on within the economy, you know, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, y'all, and that's it for right now. Uh, peace, light, love, and darkness to everybody. I appreciate the support. Y'all make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel.